Good evening and welcome to all of our students, uh, their family members and friends, as well as our faculty and staff who are joining us tonight for the White Coat Ceremony. A special warm and heartfelt welcome to our VIPs tonight, the 123 members of the RX 2024 class. My name is Andrea Edgington and I am the Hallman Director of the School of Pharmacy at the University of Waterloo. And just like you, I'm new. New to the Hallman Director role as of January 1st, but not new to the school. I've been faculty for the past 12 years. In those 12 years, I've watched and participated in the school's significant evolution. The trifecta of a dedicated and creative faculty and staff, a supportive university administration, and exceptionally talented students, that's you, <laughs> is realized, with the result of us being known as the most innovative pharmacy school in Canada. Usually, we'd have this event in the Humanities Theatre on main campus. Uh, there'd be a buzz in the air of nerves and excitement and pride. Uh, well, this is a virtual event. Know that I still feel all of those things, and I'm sure that I'm not alone. Whether you're by yourself right now or with loved ones, we're all in um, together creating a white coat ceremony that, that will be memorable uh, and a memorable milestone in your professional journey. The white coat ceremony represents the beginning of your career as a pharmacist and serves as a rite of passage that signifies your professional duty to your patients and to your chosen profession. As the 14th class to begin our program, you become an important part of the Waterloo Pharmacy family moving forward and we'll be here for you both within the program and beyond. Tonight you'll be welcomed into the profession by members of our pharmacy associations representatives from our alumni, current students, members of our community, and others. And I'll be your MC tonight and introduce, introduce these speakers in turn. At the outset, I'd like to acknowledge and thank the Ontario Pharmacists Association for donating the white coats you'll wear tonight and for their continued support of our students. Um, another event sponsor this evening, Scotiabank, has been a long-standing partner of the school, and I wish to acknowledge this support that has been steadfast through many a white coat ceremony. So the white coat represents many things. Um, and I'd like you to hear from pharmacists at our school who proudly wear their white coats on what it means to them. People often think a white coat is a symbol of knowledge, but to me, my white coat means more than that. It means trust and it means responsibility. Patients trust their pharmacist in the white coat to provide them with care that is safe and effective. And so we have a responsibility to make sure that our knowledge is kept up to date and that we adhere to our code of ethics. My white coat reminds me of the trust that my patients put in me and my responsibility to provide the best care possible for them. My white coat is a symbol of the hard work and sacrifices it took to become a trusted and respected member of the community and healthcare team. It means being the most accessible care provider when patients are sick or unwell and putting the needs of others before my own. Wearing it gives me confidence and makes me feel a deep sense of honor. And it means never being without a pen. <laughs> Hello class of 2024. Welcome to the School of Pharmacy. We're so happy to have you with us. Congratulations on receiving your white coat. For me, the white coat represents both an honor and a privilege to work with patients. It is a humbling symbol because it represents the opportunity to be a part of someone else's life, even for a moment, and to hear their story and to help them out in some way, big or small. It represents a commitment to service, service for my patients, as well as supporting my colleagues and other clinicians, and providing mentorship and teaching to pharmacy learners. It gives me the gifts of lifelong learning and lifelong education. Congratulations on your white coat. Wear it proudly. When I first received my white coat in 1993, it symbolized all the hard work I'd put into getting into the profession of pharmacy. 
during clinical rotations, it was essential to carry my peripheral brain. You know, my lexicon, my calculators, my patient profiles. Over time though, it came to mean something deeper, like the trust that patients placed in me. Today, as I welcome you into the School of Pharmacy, the white coat represents confidence and pride in you all, the future of pharmacy. Yes. Okay, <laughs> sorry, technical glitches. <laughs> so the School of Pharmacy is within the Faculty of Science at the University. Um, the School of Pharmacy is within the Faculty of Science at the University, and we work in a highly collaborative way to ensure that the school meets its educational and research goals. Bob Lemieux, the Dean of the Faculty of Science, is here to pro provide words of welcome to RX 2024. Thanks, Andrea. And uh, on behalf of the Faculty of Science, it's my distinct pleasure to welcome all of you tonight to uh, the Pharmacy White Coast Ceremony in particular. Uh, welcome to the class of 2024. Um, it's always a, a privilege and a pleasure to attend this ceremony. Uh, I am always impressed mm -hmm. by the symbolism uh, of the White Coast Ceremony, the fact that it uh, signifies uh, your entrance into uh, a profession uh, that is incredibly critical uh, to society. And, and especially now, I would say, uh, given the circumstances of the pandemic, uh, I think that pharmacists uh, clearly uh, are, will play, are playing and will play a critical role in, uh, in managing this pandemic and eventually mm -hmm. getting over it, whether it is by providing vaccines or uh, for those who are involved in, in research, uh, developing therapeutics and, and, and vaccines or modes of delivery. Uh, so I think that uh, you are certainly entering the profession at a very opportune time uh, because I think my sense is that the, the role of pharmacists will grow uh, in importance over the years. Um, it is too bad that uh, we have to meet virtually as opposed to in person. Uh, but again, I'm, I'm incredibly proud uh, of uh, leading a, a, a faculty of science that has a school of pharmacy. Uh, and as Andrea said, indeed the most innovative uh, pharmacy. Uh, School of Pharmacy in Canada. So uh, do enjoy uh, this ceremony. And, and again, welcome, welcome to all of you uh, to the School of Pharmacy and the Faculty of Science. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bob. The Ontario College of Pharmacists is the registering and regulating body for the profession of pharmacy in Ontario. I'm pleased to present Nancy Lum Wilson, the registrar and CEO of the Ontario College of Pharmacists. Hi everybody, my name is Nancy Lum Wilson. I'm the CEO and registrar of the Ontario College of Pharmacists, the regulating body. And today I have the honor of, and pleasure of welcoming you into the profession. I've always enjoyed meeting everybody in person, so it's rather strange and unusual that I have to do these remarks today uh, by video, but here we are. You're definitely entering the profession at a very interesting and unique time in our history. Two years ago, I would have never thought that we would be in a virtual learning environment across the board, that we would be socializing virtually, that we would be wearing masks everywhere we go and unable to see our loved ones and give them a hug. But during this time, pharmacy has also risen up to the challenge and they've been there when folks needed them to be able to do testing uh, for, for COVID, to be able to give flu shots uh, to patients as they came in. 
And along with these challenges, of course, I believe that there also comes tremendous opportunity for the profession of pharmacy. Oftentimes, it's in crisis situations like this that we begin to see what is really, really important to all of us all, and we become stronger. There is now more collaboration across the profession than we've seen in the past. There's a new understanding of what we can achieve together when we work across sectors and we work together. And there's increased recognition of the value that each of the professions brings to the table. And we're seeing an acceleration in the use of technology to enable collaboration and also to enable patient care. I believe that the shift in thinking is what will be the future of all of the professions, healthcare and pharmacy. And pharmacy is an amazing profession and the value that it brings to the public and to patients cannot be understated. And I'd like everybody to really carry that thought with you as we look forward to a much brighter 2022. <laughs> and I also um, ask everybody to please get yourself vaccinated when it's offered to you, because this is the only way that we will get out of this pandemic and back to a time where we can socialize and see each other in person. So at this moment, I'd just like to wish you well in your studies, and I look forward to seeing all of you in person when you graduate. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you so much, Nancy. The Ontario Pharmacists Association advocates on behalf of uh, the more than 20,000 pharmacy professionals in Ontario. OPA is committed to evolving the pharmacy profession and advocating for excellence in practice and patient care. So I am pleased to welcome Jen Baker, Chair of the Ontario Pharmacists Association, to speak a few words on behalf of the association. Jen? Thank you, Andrea. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jen Baker, and I'm Chair of the Ontario Pharmacists Association's Board of Directors. I'm thrilled to be here tonight to welcome the University of Waterloo Class of 2024 to our great profession, both on behalf of the OPA and as a future pharmacist, or as a pharmacist and future colleague myself. That wasn't so long ago I was a future pharmacist, but I definitely am a pharmacist now. Um, by choosing to become a pharmacist, you have opted for a profession that provides you with boundless opportunity and will both fulfill and challenge you throughout your professional lives. While I would have preferred, as everyone else, uh, to deliver this welcome in person, this pandemic has challenged our society and healthcare system in ways that we never imagined possible. I am overwhelmingly proud of how pharmacy professionals have stepped up in these times to take on new ways of caring for the health and well-being of Ontarians and look forward to a time when I can welcome you to the profession in person again. Just as your lives are undergoing change as you begin your journey to becoming a pharmacist, so too is there a great amount of change occurring within our profession. Having graduated from pharmacy school just under eight years ago myself, I have seen tremendous expansion of scope and my practice now is significantly different and enhanced from when I graduated. This change does not stop. If one thing is certain, it is that the profession will look different again when you become licensed pharmacists and the skills and knowledge you acquire over the next four years are the foundation of a lifetime of continuous learning. While this is an incredible responsibility and quite frankly, a heck of a lot of work, uh, it's a great honor as well and one that we do not take lightly as Ontarians place their trust in us in ways that start with but extend well past the management of their medications. OPA is here to support you throughout your career in many ways from advocacy, professional development and far, far beyond that. And as Canada's largest advocacy body for pharmacy professionals, OPA is the voice that has been leading that change and will continue to do so into the future. We are looking forward to having your voices join ours in advocating on behalf of more than 20,000 pharmacy professionals in the province of Ontario. Congratulations on beginning your education as pharmacy students, and I wish you the best of luck throughout your studies. I know that this room is full of future leaders, and I look forward to working with you shoulder to shoulder to advance the profession of pharmacy and care for the patients of Ontario. Thank you. Have a great night. Thanks so much, Jen. A heck of a lot of work indeed. Uh, we so appreciate you taking the time out of your schedule to be with us tonight. Uh, next, we have a message from a member of our very first graduating class, RX 2011. RX 2011, 
They're known as our Vanguard class, and this group is celebrating their 10th year anniversary of graduation this year. That makes me feel old when I read that. Um, Heather Foley, RX 2011, has a very special message for you. Hello, RX24. My name is Heather, and on behalf of the Waterloo School of Pharmacy alumni, I would like to send a heartfelt congratulations and welcome to you all. Welcome to our beautiful, friendly, and innovative School of Pharmacy. We are thrilled that you've decided to join us on this lifelong adventure and cannot wait to see the successes you will have in the years to come. As of tonight, you are officially joining a powerhouse of about a thousand Waterloo Pharmacy alumni. Your alumni Alumni rock stars are working across the country and across the globe, improving healthcare efficiencies and saving lives. Through your alumni, you now have access to a network of a thousand working professionals who've all been in your shoes, who can relate to you. Tonight, I would like to invite you to please meet us, network with us, add us to LinkedIn, find us on Twitter. Do not try to find us on Twitter. TikTok because we are old, many of us, and we don't even know what that is. <laughs> but seriously, ask us for jobs. Ask us to be your mentors and advisors. Take advantage of our knowledge and experience. We want to help you. We want to ensure that your student ex experience is as rich and robust as ours. So please, if you have an opportunity to do so, become connected to your alumni. Many hands make light work and we can't wait for your help. If I can offer you one piece of advice tonight that I think has been the most impactful for me since joining the profession, gosh, 13 years ago, it would be these two words, today matters. And I don't just mean today, your white cone ceremony. I mean, every single day matters. Waking up every day with an attitude that today, this day matters will be your key to success in pharmacy school, out of practice, and in every aspect of your life. Day after day, lecture after lecture, <laughs> patient after patient, your daily habits, your daily choices, your daily influences all add up. It will be up to you to decide what those daily habits, choices, and influences are and in, to ensure that they are lining up with your vision as, of success. The next time you think to yourself, hmm, I guess I'll just skip this one lecture today, or I just don't feel like exercising today, or what difference will this one silly intervention on this one patient make today? I challenge you to stop and remind yourself that today matters. Refocus your energy and attention to making the best choice for yourself that day that lines up with your vision of success. To quote one of my favorite inspirational authors, John Maxwell, who wrote a book on this whole topic, people create success in their lives by focusing on today. Today is the only time you have. That is why today matters. Congratulations, RX24, and welcome to the profession. Can't wait to meet you, hopefully sooner than later. Cheers. Thanks so much, Heather. Heather represents um, the passion that our alumni feel for the school and the profession. Um, and our alumni, which you'll be one day, are truly an important part of our Waterloo Pharmacy family. To move on, the Canadian Society of Hospital Pharmacists is a national voluntary organization of pharmacists committed to patient care through the advancement of safe, effective medication use in hospitals and other collaborative healthcare settings. I'd like to share a message from Olivia, um, Olivia Ng, President of the Canadian Society of Hospital Pharmacists at the Ontario branch. Hello, Waterloo class of 2T4. First of all, thank you for the invitation to speak to you today. On behalf of the Canadian Society of Hospital Pharmacists Ontario branch, congratulations on all your accomplishments so far and welcome to the pharmacy family. And that's family with a PH, of course. This is such a time of change for healthcare right now, and it is our privilege to welcome you to our growing profession as we transform to take on new challenges and forge new paths for our profession. 
COVID-19 has placed healthcare up front and center in everyone's lives, and pharmacists continue to be one of the most trusted healthcare professionals. As a hospital pharmacist, I saw firsthand how quickly our profession stepped forward to support our patients from our critical care settings to safely discharging our patients back to community. As you go through professional practice courses and co-op rotations, know that you are already contributing to the future of pharmacy and that you will soon be pharmacy colleagues alongside those you meet as professors, guest lecturers, and making speeches to you like I am today. Lastly, the one takeaway I'd like you to have is this. The most important qualities you need to be a pharmacist are the ones you had before you even entered pharmacy school. It's how you want to make a positive difference in the lives of others and how you care deeply for others. Thank you. Thank you so much, Olivia. Our PharmD students are active in building a supportive culture at the school. Tahir Ramanji has the important job of being the president of our Society of Pharmacy Students and is here to say a few words and perhaps share some tips on success. Thank you for that kind uh, introduction, Dr. Edgington. I'm very honored to be here. Uh, I remember when I saw Tarun, our SOS president, uh, when he did this speech at the start of my journey, and I was kind of waiting for the chance to do this as well. Um, and that's kind of where I wore a suit today as well, just to make it as lifelike as possible. And, you know, I know this may not be the way you guys have envisioned the white coat ceremony to be, but as Helen Keller once said, life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. And this pandemic and everything with this journey, it's just a new adventure that we have to navigate. And if I can be honest with you, it really doesn't matter how we do this. Nothing can take away the years of hard work, the lost nights with friends, the all-nighters that led you to be here today. Just to give you some perspective, there are over 600 applicants that apply to the University of Waterloo each year. And out of all those applicants, you guys were chosen to represent our school, the future of our profession, and for each of your neighbors, friends, family, all the people that will come to you for comfort and advice, that's the responsibility that's lent down to you. And it's not something that we should take for granted as well. Pharmacists are an important part of the healthcare system, and we ensure that patients can trust the healthcare system because they know they're being looked after. So now that you know kind of what the end goal looks like, how does the journey match up? Well, I'd say it's even better. In pharmacy school, you'll make friends from all walks of life. Now, this is normally where I'll tell you to look left and right, and one of these two will be, you know, one of your lifelong friends. Uh, but because we're in a virtual uh, and your left and right might be a wall and door, uh, it doesn't quite hit the same. Uh, but that's not to say uh, the kind of culture that we build here at the school. We like to foster a real family type culture, which means if you see someone struggling, if you see someone having a hard time, make sure that you help build each other up rather than break each other down. Because pharmacy school isn't easy, okay? And this huge pathway, there's going to be a lot of ups and downs. There's going to be a lot of questions, uncertainties, and failures. And that's okay. It's okay to feel down at times. It's okay to feel like you're overwhelmed. Because in those moments, that's when you'll actually develop as both an individual and a professional. And speaking of professionals and pharmacy in general, you guys are actually joining pharmacy at a really exciting time. I think our industry is ready for a little bit of disruption, new ideas and innovation. And as we move further away from technical duties to more of a clinical role. So I truly believe each and every one of you, one of us, will change the perception of what a pharmacist does. So don't be afraid to be loud. Take full advantage of all the opportunities available to you and be an advocate for not only your patients, but for your fellow pharmacists as well. And with that, I'd just like to say welcome to your first step into this new, exciting chapter of your life. I promise it'll be a great one. Thank you. Thanks so much, Tahir. Caitlin Binkowski is our Director of Admissions and Undergraduate Affairs. She's also one of our own PharmD graduates. Caitlin will speak to ethical conduct in the pharmacy profession, as ethics is an integral component of any profession. Caitlin? Thank you, Dr. Edgington. Good evening, RX 2024, 
and a special welcome to your family, friends, and loved ones, as well as all of the members of the Waterloo Pharmacy community who are here this evening to support you in this special moment of your pharmacy journey. On orientation day at the beginning of January, we took a collective moment to pause and reflect that you are not alone in your pharmacy journey. Today is another one of those moments, an occasion to remind you that your path to graduating with a doctor of pharmacy degree and becoming a future pharmacist is lined with support and resources to help you succeed. I have the honor and privilege of introducing the Code of Ethics for our profession. This important document serves as a guidepost for pharmacy professionals. The Code of Ethics is a declaration and commitment. It is very near and dear to my heart as a professional, as a pharmacist, as the lead in undergraduate affairs at the School of Pharmacy, and also as an alumni of this program. These various hats that I wear come with an important responsibility to be professional, ethical, and act with integrity. There is a saying that pharmacists wear white coats and many hats. <laughs> the white coat you are putting on today symbolizes a commitment to professionalism and your declaration that no matter what hat you are wearing in the future, from this moment forward, you will follow the code of ethics and act with integrity. Usually at this time, I would lead the pharmacy professionals in the audience through a reading of the Code of Ethics. However, in the virtual setting, we have this rare opportunity to showcase the code in a new way by having mm -hmm. members of our alumni who will each read a passage of the code, specifically three practicing pharmacists from the Vanguard class of 2011. The passage that they will read will signify that no matter where we practice or which hat we have on that day, we are united as a profession through our declaration and commitment to the Code of Ethics. I commit to serve and protect my patients and society. In keeping this promise, I will put my patients first. I will do good and benefit my patients and society. I will do no harm and whenever possible prevent harm from occurring. I will protect my patients' vulnerability and respect their rights as autonomous persons. I'll act as responsible and accountable fiduciary of the public trust. I will act with integrity and will honor the ideals, values, and commitments of my profession. I will faithfully abide by my profession's code of ethics. I make this commitment as a healthcare professional to my patients, society, my profession, and myself. So typically at this point in the program, um, it's where we would have students assemble on stage to receive their white coats. This year, it's a bit different. The students received their white coats when they arrived at the school for the first day um, of lab. So let's see uh, in this montage, the class proudly wearing their white coats for the very first time. So note that they are not in alphabetical order, so you'll have to keep your eye out.
So wherever you are and you're, whoever you're with, I'll ask you to join me in a round of applause to, to give congratulations and a welcome to the class of 2024 to the pharmacy profession. <laughs> the University of Waterloo uh, School of Pharmacy Pledge of Professionalism is written by our students. It's expected that each student strives to uphold this pledge. Uh, students in the audience, you received the pledge by email um, today, and I ask that all members of the class please stand. So now that you're standing, <laughs> please recite out loud the Pledge of Professionalism along with the video. As a pharmacy student at the University of Waterloo, I believe that there is a need to build and reinforce a professional identity founded on integrity, ethical behavior, and honor. This development will help ensure that I am true to the professional relationship I established to myself and society. As I become a member of the pharmacy community. Integrity, honesty, 
and commitment to service will be guiding principles in my academic, professional, and everyday life. In order to achieve this goal as a student at the University of Waterloo School of Pharmacy, I will develop a sense of loyalty and dedication to the professions through my community service activities and co-op work experiences. Pursue professional competence through self-directed learning and continual reflection. And accept responsibility and accountability for my membership in the profession. Conduct myself in a respectful, compassionate, and ethical manner and accept responsibility for my actions and behavior. Embrace dedication to excellence in life and practice adapting to the needs of the profession. Maintain the highest ideals and professional attributes throughout practice and learning while keeping my patients as my top priority. Commit to shaping the profession of pharmacy and promoting pharmacist roles in the Canadian healthcare system. The profession of pharmacy is one that demands adherence to a set of high ethical standards. These are necessary to ensure that quality care is extended to the patients I serve. As a student of pharmacy, I believe this does not start with graduation. Rather, it begins today. Therefore, I will strive to uphold this pledge of professionalism and the code of ethics for members of the Ontario College of Pharmacists. As I advance towards my full potential in the profession of pharmacy, Thank you all. Now it's my pleasure to introduce Nancy Waite. She is the Associate Director of Clinical Education at the School of Pharmacy, and she will provide remarks from the faculty. Nancy? Thank you, Andrea. I'd like to extend a warm welcome on behalf of the faculty members and the teaching staff at the School of Pharmacy. Over the next four year, years, you're gonna have a chance to meet all of us and I promise it, it will be in person at some point. You'll have a chance to find out what unique aspect of pharmacy we each will bring to your learning experience. Well, what a year it has been for all of us, for healthcare and pharmacy though in particular. But I wanted to, to just reflect back. In fact, it really has been quite the decade for pharmacy. In that time, we've seen an am amazing increase in pharmacist scope of practice. And I'm thinking of all the people that are sitting with you today and thinking about whether they even know some of the things that you very soon will be able to do. We can now do such things as prescribe, inject, access patient labs, and do point of care testing. And even just two weeks ago, new legislation was passed that allows pharmacists, pharmacy students, yes, that's you, and pharmacy technicians to administer the COVID vaccine. One more amazing contribution that pharmacy is making to end this pandemic. We were very excited when the COVID vaccine announcement was made as pharmacy has been encouraging policymakers to remember the important role that students can play. No, not only are these new frontline responsibilities great learning experiences for you, but students increase the capacity of the healthcare system to, to deliver care. Every year we hear again and again how valuable the white coat wearing Waterloo students are mm -hmm. to these practice sites and to their patients. Just this flu season, one of our second year students, Michelle Liang, received the Costco award, I can't believe this, Costco award for the most influenza vaccines given compared to all of the other pharmacists in Canada. That's really an amazing accomplishment and really speaks, I talked to her the other day, it was over a thousand doses that she gave so really an amazing accomplishment and the type of contribution that students can make. I, am, I oversee co-op and our rotations, and I have to say the support that we see from our sites is also reflected in the increase in the number and the type of co-op jobs and rotations that we have every year. And this is really a great opportunity for you to explore our profession. We have jobs in community pharmacy and hospitals across the province in Canada, even in places like Moose Factory and Nunavut. We have jobs with specialty pharmacies who focus on diabetes or biologicals, jobs with Health Canada and the Ministry of Health, health tech companies, uh, our students do international aid work in countries such as Tanzania, Peru, and most recently with the World Health Organization in Geneva. They're involved in doing positions within the community pharmacy head offices, regulatory bodies, pharmacy research, and the list goes on. As you can see, there are many ways that you can serve patients and the healthcare community. 
I want to suggest that there's three things that you should do as you begin to explore your pharmacy, um, your pharmacy career. First of all, start with an open mind. Be bold. That's what we're about at University of Waterloo. Mm -hmm. Explore and try things within the pharmacy program. Second, pay attention when you're in classes, your labs, co-op, volunteering, and listen for the things that interest you, that make that you, you feel good about doing or that you're particularly good at. And then finally, as you move through our program, explore and find that career path that aligns with those interests and strengths that you have found in yourself. I and my fellow faculty members and staff will support you through this journey and look forward to seeing where you will go in this great profession of pharmacy. Congratulations on your white coat today. Thank you. Thanks so much, Nancy, that was great. Um, Nancy's remarks really illustrate the important role that as a pharmacist you're going to play as the most trusted and accessible healthcare professional in Canada. So over the next four years, we're going to provide you with a state-of-the-art curriculum, varied experiential opportunities, and really an environment for professional but also personal growth. As we know from 14 years of experience, each class differs and yours is beginning in unusual circumstances. But despite this, we expect you will embrace all that's offered and rise to the challenges and opportunities the next four years will bring. Our goal is to train you to not only be exceptional pharmacists, but future agents of change for an ever evolving healthcare system. You're the future of the pharmacy profession. So a few thank yous um, before we close. And first I'd like to th uh, thank the support systems who are here with our PharmD students tonight. I know that there are proud parents, grandparents, siblings, partners, and friends. By virtue of you being here, you are important people in your student's life. And we thank you for that support you provide and I'm sure will continue to provide over the next four years and beyond. Thanks to all of our speakers tonight. The success of our program has been due in large part to our close relationships with the broader pharmacy community, including uh, provincial and national organizations industry and our own alumni. Thanks again to our sponsors, uh, the Ontario Pharmacists Association and Scotiabank who make this event possible each year. And finally, thank you to RX 2024 for upholding the Pledge of Professionalism, adhering to the Code of Ethics, and for wearing the white coat with pride. Good night, everybody.